a lot of people are interested in how to get into business. And I won't talk to you about how to form an entity or whether to form a C corporation or an S corporation or an LLC or some other form. You can talk to your attorney about that. I'll say that uh, corporations have been around 200 plus years. And so all of the uh, adjudication or the law giving or interpretation of corporations has been done in many states. So it's easy to have somebody judge what should be done in a corporation. And a limited liability corporation has only been around for about 20 years. So there are, you know, there are terms that matter in a uh, C corporation for going public at some point. But you talk to your attorney about that. That's not the point. What I want to talk to you about is how to get out of business. People don't really think about that very often, but building off ramps from the beginning of your business is critical. This is not a marriage. This is not a family. This is not a community. This is just a business for the purpose of making money. And if it's not making money or you're not getting along with your partner, it's time to use that off ramp and get out of business. Everybody that I, I work with and teach and, and uh, have an association with has got kind of a war story. I talk to them for a while and maybe it's their dad, it's their uncle, it's their brother, their sister. Someone has got a war story about how they got stuck in a business, a family business or a friendship, and it didn't turn out very well. So if you listen carefully, I hope to save you five years of your life by building off ramps from the get go. So what can you do? Uh, I have a couple of favorite ways to get out of business. My first is what's called a buy sell agreement, which is kind of like if you and your brother both want a piece of pie and your mom says, you have to, you know, you cut it, John, and Joe, I want you to pick. Well, John is going to cut it evenly because he knows his brother gets to pick. If he cuts it unevenly, his brother will get the bigger share. So the buy-sell agreement gives both parties in a transaction the terms or the rights to offer for sale their interest, and they can buy or sell at the valuation that they define. You'll talk with your attorney about this to get it right, but the concept is, uh, I cut, you pick, or you cut, I pick. And that way there's a fair outcome to both parties. Buy sells are a critical answer to get people out of business when they want to get out. A second favorite way for me to do it is for everybody to agree we're not going to go to court. Let's just decide from the get-go we're not going to go through this expensive, painful process to go to court. But let's agree on binding arbitration. We'll submit our view of the business to a uh, retired judge of AAA arbitration or a retired attorney or some other expert who can look at our position and say, here's the value, here's your share, and here's the terms for getting out. Um, that way you can simplify the way you get out of business. It can be a fair outcome. Now, when you decide on how it's going to be paid out, let's say that one party is a 70% owner and the other is a 30% owner and the 70% owner is buying out the 30% owner for $300,000, the company may not have $300,000 or be able to finance $300,000 at this point. So what they need is terms to be able to pay out the $300,000 over time. So as part of the arbitration or the buy-sell agreement, you might agree to pay a third at the closing and a third a year later and the last third a year after that so that it's soft terms and easier to work with to make sure that you protect the business. Uh, you might also agree on if it's a minority owner, somebody who only owns 5% or 10% of the company, that you get to, to give a discount to that valuation of maybe 10 or 20%. So if they would be entitled to $10,000, maybe they'd get a discount and only get $8,000. Again, to simplify cleaning up the cap table, uh, making it easy for people to execute their business.